Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Mikrotik router as a WireGuard client and also how to route your internet traffic through the WireGuard interface so that any device that you connect to this router will automatically get routed through the VPN. This can be especially useful in cases where a device is not capable of running a VPN client on its own, such as a gaming console, PlayStation, Xbox, etc. Uh, your Mikrotik router needs to be running RotorOS version 7, as RotorOS version 6 does not support WireGuard. Also as a side note, if you're going to be connecting a plethora of devices to this router, I strongly recommend getting a powerful router with enough RAM and a powerful CPU, because running a VPN is quite resource intensive, and if you connect a lot of devices to the router at the same time as running a VPN, it may hinder your performance. First things first, make sure your router has an active internet connection. Download the Vimbox software from Mikrotik's website and also have your uh, WireGuard configuration file at hand as we will need to copy the information from it. I've made a document uh, in which you can find the steps and the commands you'll need. I'll link it in the description. Let's get started. Open Vimbox. Go to WireGuard. Click on the plus icon in the WireGuard section, leave the interface name as WireGuard1. Copy your client's private key from the config file. And paste it here. Click OK. The rest will be done in the terminal, so go ahead and open a terminal window. Head to the document, look for step 2. You need to set up an IP address for your WireGuard interface. You can use the IP address in the address field of your config file. Copy the first three values and paste them here. Uh, do not change the last value of 2. Same thing with the network part. Uh, just copy the, ver the first three values and do not change the 0 value. Copy the whole command and paste it in your terminal. Step 3. You need to create a peer for the WireGuard interface. Replace the endpoint address, endpoint port, and public key with the values from the peer section of your config file. Endpoint address, endpoint port, and public key. Copy and paste the command in your terminal. Step 4. Enable Masquerade for your WireGuard interface. You need not change any of the values here unless you are not using the default Mikrotik IP range. Step 5. Route all of the internet traffic through your WireGuard interface. Use the same IP from the address field in your config file. This one. Um, and replace the gateway value with that. Once again, do not change the last value, which is 1 here. Copy and paste in terminal. Step 6. Configure a DNS server for your router. I use Google DNS. Terminal once again. Step 7. Route the WireGuard traffic to the endpoint address through the Internet Gateway. Replace DST address with the uh, endpoint address from your config file. And for one last time, let's place it in the terminal. You're done. Now you just have to reboot the router. Now once the router is up and running again, you can check to see whether your traffic is being routed through the VPN. I use whatismyipaddress.com. And as you can see, my traffic is indeed being routed through the Amazon server. Hope you found this helpful, and if you have, don't forget to like and comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.